Hello, this is Masood Ansari, Department of Psychology, APSM College, Barawani. In the previous video, we have discussed about the observational method. While in this video, we will discuss about the correlational method. Correlational method, uh, in the psychological research, we often wish to determine the relationship between two variables for the prediction purposes. For example, uh, a researcher is, in, is interested to know whether the amount of the study time is related to a student academic performance or academic achievement. So uh, in the correlation method, he is only interested to know is there any relationship between the amount of the study time with the academic achievement or not. While I would like to mention experiment also. In the experiment, we talk about the cause and effect relationship. In case of experiment, we try to understand is there any impact influence of one variable on the another, another variable. Suppose, uh, for example, in the experiment, is there any influence of high temperature on the performance, then that is the cause and effect relationship. While in case of correlation method, we only try to understand the relationship, either positive, negative, zero relationship between two variables. So this is the difference between experiment and correlation. In the experiment, our intention is to study the influence of one variable to the another variable. While in case of correlation, we only try to understand the relationship, its direction and its, its, its strength you can say. So suppose a researcher is interested to know the amount of the study time and the student academic achievement. Is there any relation or not? So this relationship is denoted by a number which is called correlation coefficient. While a range of the correlation coefficient varied from the plus minus one. There are three types of correlation positive, negative and zero correlation. What is the positive correlation? Positive In the positive correlation, when one variable is increases, another variable is also increases. Or we can say, when one variable is decreases, another variable also decreases. It means that when changes take place in the same direction when changes take place in the same direction in two variables that is called positive correlation changes may be increasing order in the increasing order or it may be in decreasing order so if changes will be in the same direction then that will be the positive correlation for example when an employer increases the incentive then we can say production of the employee is also increases that is positive correlation when employer decreases the incentive then production of the employee is also decreases that is positive correlation and another point is negative correlation what is negative correlation in the negative correlation, when one variable is increases while another variable is decreases, that is negative correlation. Suppose working hour is increasing, then what will happen? In case of energy, energy level will decrease. So there is an opposite direction. Working hour is increasing while energy of the employee is decreasing. So that is negative correlation. It means when one variable is increasing, another variable is decreasing, that is negative correlation. While in case of zero correlation, one variable is increasing, but another variable is constant. There is no relationship between one variable to the another, with the another variable. It means that is zero correlation. Suppose uh, on the uh, production level of the employee, 
there is no influence of the incentive either increasing or decreasing there is no relation between the performance or production of the employee and the incentive level so this is the zero correlation when one variable is increasing or decreasing but another variable is constant that is zero correlation so these are the all the things about the correlation that uh, we only talk about the relationship not about the cause and relation or influence of the one variable on the another variable so thank you for your patience